Ask Shrimpita. That's me. Shrimpita, you are looking very sparkly today. Oh, yes. Yeah. Start the day with a sparkle. That's what I always say. Oh, hey, everyone. Thank you so much for being here so Laurel and I can answer all of your questions about Jesus and the Bible. Right, Shrimpita. Today we're talking about a story from the book of Mark. Jesus' disciples were on a boat, and Jesus actually walked out to them on top of the water. Now, let's get to those questions. Why were Jesus' disciples scared when they saw him walking on water? Why did Jesus decide to walk on water? Those are the best questions ever. I wonder if Jesus could moonwalk on water. That would have really surprised his friends. I think you're missing the point, Shrimpita. The disciples in the boat saw Jesus walking on water, and they were terrified, because normally people sink when they step onto water. Think about what happens to you when you jump into a swimming pool. In fact, the Bible says Jesus' disciples thought he was a ghost because he wasn't sinking. But afterwards, they realized Jesus was much more than just a normal man. He was God's son. You are certain Jesus was not just water skiing behind the boat? No, Shrimpita. He actually walked up to the boat, stepped inside, and then the wind stopped. God's power made it possible for Jesus to walk on top of water. Hmm. So, by walking on the water, Jesus showed us that God's power can do anything? Exactly, Shrimpita. Jesus is the best! I will ask God to help me whenever I have to do something hard. That's a great idea! Speaking of sparkles, I've even got them on my floaties for the pool. Uh, Shrimpita, aren't shrimp pretty used to swimming? Just go with it. <laughs> 